welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be posting another video for you guys. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed or anything of that sort, please do so. I love to hear your comments down below, so please leave me your feedback, comments, anything of that sort. Uh, today's look is going to be on this very fun, simple summer look, and I used a bit of green in the inner corners to kind of make it a little bit more fun. If you guys want to see how I create this very simple beautiful look then please keep watching as an eyeshadow base I'm using makeup forever full cover concealer in number five I'm applying this all over my lid using my fingers Then I'm going in with a MAC 224 brush and I'm buffing in the color Bone from Anastasia Beverly Hills. On the outer edge of my eye, I'm applying tape. Then I'm going in with the Krylon palette and I'm going in with a medium brown shade and I'm just applying this with a Makeup Forever fluffy brush and I'm applying it in my inner crease and outer crease. Now I'm going in with Makeup Forever number 33 eyeshadow. It's a very matte gray shadow and I'm applying this in the outer corner of my eye with a Bedellium Tool 781 brush. This is a dome brush and I really love using this brush when I'm doing this type of look because it helps blend out the color without me having to go in again and buff it. Now I'm going in with Makeup Forever eyeshadow number 155. It is this very pearly color and I'm applying it with a very small detailed brush and I'm just applying it on the lid. I'm bringing it a little above the lid so it has a nice little transition. Now I'm going in with this lime green color. This is also from Makeup Forever. It does have shimmer in it because this is what I wanted to use in the inner corner. I love to use shimmer in my inner corner just to kind of make my eyes pop more. I'm using this Italia eyeliner from Morphe. It's in the color turquoise and you can purchase this you know online. I purchased mine at the Morphe store and I'm going in with this eyeliner just lining my eyelid and I left the tape on because that really helps make it easier to get that nice cat eye. I love this eyeliner because it's really creamy in texture. I'm going in with this black eyeliner and I'm using it to kind of piggyback with the turquoise that I applied previously and I'm lining my eye really close to my lash line. I recommend using an eyeliner with a very precise tip if you want to do a piggyback eyeliner and the reason for this is because it helps you do more detail work and get into the little small areas. If you have an eyeliner with a very thick brush, it's really hard to do this type of eyeliner look. Now I'm going to remove the tape and you guys can see that there is a nice harsh edge and I'm going in with a makeup sponge and just reapplying my foundation where the tape was and I'm kind of blending it out so it's nice and smooth and consistent with the rest of my face. Now I'm going in with that same Makeup Forever um, gray shade which was number 33 and I'm using a flat eyeliner brush. This one's also from Morphe. It doesn't have a number but I'm just packing that gray underneath my eye because I want my eye to be nice and defined. 
Now I'm applying LA Mink Lashes in Independent. I love these lashes. They're nice, long, and so light. You can't even tell that you have lashes on, and that's one of the things that I love about this brand. And I just go ahead and apply these lashes with some tweezers. I just kind of flick it upwards just so it's nice and open. Then I go in with the new Colossal Maybelline um, eyeliner, I mean not eyeliner, sorry, the mascara. And I kind of wanted to try this because I saw it at Walmart and I saw some crazy lashes and I was like, well, let's see how it is. And I really, really, really like it. It's not too much. It's just, you know, the way you apply it really matters. Um, this is the final look and very fun, very summer. I really hope you guys enjoyed and, you know, learned how to use some color in your look. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.